Hey Dom Jack Guru here with hot new game Moon River, which I thought had full controller support, but seems to not? Characters with my controller? Nope. Yeah, I thought it had full controller support because I swear, like the day before yesterday, I played this with the controller, but no, that's not a thing. Alright, well, silly me. Alright, so uh, you hold L if you want to walk instead of run. You run off edges to jump. And you can only jump from, like, ledge to ledge. Uh, J works a sword. I, I've been... I will head back to the hidden object game in a minute. So, as you can see, I can use the sword to destroy spikes. So, here's the funny story I have to tell about the game. When I first played this, the, the night it was offered to me... There was a glitch here where there were two stones here, and if you ran off the top one, you wouldn't jump, you would just walk on air, which was neat. And I thought it was a, a help to, uh, a thing to help me solve a puzzle, because here was the puzzle. So you get to these three stones, right? So you get this one, you destroy all the so stones, spikes, so it's clear for you to run across, right? Okay. And then when you got here, next up, after this stone, would be a brick, a brick. A platform covered in stones, uh, spikes off to your right. And I spent five minutes jumping at those spikes, trying to figure out how I was supposed to get past them. And then I gave up. And it turns out, uh, the developer was nice enough to reach out and explain that originally the main character had a bow. And very late in development, the bow was taken out. But this was the area to teach you to use a bow to destroy spikes at a distance. And the developer had been working so much, I guess, on the late game when that decision was made, the developer never went back and removed the bow training area from the game. So it was impossible to get out of the game's training area. Oh, but now it has obviously been fixed and we're having a good time. Consider. Oh, I was supposed to make all three on, not all three off. Okay, well, there you go. Consider yourself puzzled, Moon River. What is this? Oh, healing! Nice! Seriously, why is there no controller support? This is clearly not a mouse and keyboard kind of game. That is a weird and upsetting sound. Oh, I see. It actually tells you in the center whether they're supposed to be on or off. That one was a little weirder because the, the one on the side did not... Uh, Activate all the ones next to it. Wait, this one does those two? Oh no, they all it always does those two. What am I saying? Yay! Lights, Maddie. Uh this is definitely not those are some of my least favorite kind of puzzles to do even though there's like a concrete mathematical formula to always be able to solve them without any trouble at all like it's not like you have to figure out there's like a set number of moves for any combination that you can just learn hey buddy do you want me to hit you with a sword or whoa hey there did you want to talk and you were just bad at it and so you scared me, and I hit you with a sword, and now we've started fighting when we didn't have to? Because that sounds like the kind of garbage I could get into. Wait, can he block my shots? Ow! Alright, well, I'm just getting my ass kicked. Up. So that could have gone better. Oh, this might be one of those you're supposed to lose fights. Let's find out together, I guess.
Well, it's some pretty jarring music. I'll give it that. I don't know if that was their main goal to create jarring music, but they've certainly succeeded. Yeah, okay, that was a you're supposed to lose fight. I'm never super comfortable with those, but at least... Okay. Oh. I see. That is a weird puzzle. It really does have a super chill vibe, doesn't it? Hey, Adam. Uh, how do I get up there? Not like that. Although the game helped me out, which was nice. You got this, me? Yeah, this running off of the ledge to solve problems is going to take some getting used to. Weird. Borderline upsetting. That one I knew was coming. So crazy. Yeah, definitely going to take some getting used to. Okay, so I fall here. Then I fall down the pit, which drops me up there. I understand completely. Oh. All right, what am I missing? No, that's not getting me anywhere. So I can run around these corners, but I can't get to that top area, and maybe I'm not supposed to. Wait, oh, I know. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, I told you, Adam, we're gonna load that up uh, once we get through the current outstandings, which should be uh, beginning of next week. We've got uh, Senren Kagura to play this weekend. And then that should be the last of our outstanding big-timey games for a while. I see. That was weird. This is definitely taking some getting used to, isn't it? It's a very head trip MC Asher experience. Obviously, I don't mean that in a bad way. Damn it, I wanted to check off to the left. Should have prioritized doing that then, Hoguru. Oh, I can't jump. Ah, I see. Nope. Land here, run up, run left, do a running jump, fall onto the light. See? I pay attention. So weird. And I will do that, General Adam, as you reminded me to yesterday. The character is going to go from being named Samonuske to Steve. Which is the American form of the name Samonuske. That's probably not true, but it feels true, so that's all I need. This is such a weird way to look at worlds. Like, I keep trying to imagine how these places are related to each other in 3D space, and it kind of messes with my head. All right, I think we made it out of there. Great. Now suddenly the world is three dimensions. I bet you didn't see that coming. 
Yeah, it's a weird one, right? I guess mess this game messes with your head. So if I go down, I'll come in up there. Oh, I just can't go down here. Can I run off to the left? Good, all right. Just making sure. To use the vernacular, now you're thinking with portals. Oh, wait, can I sword this, or? Oh, I don't have my sword anymore. It's weird. What am I gonna do without my beloved sword? Or even my non-beloved S-word. I don't know why I fell down there that time, but I'm glad I did. This is so weird. Oh, that's a pit. To be honest with you, I didn't realize that was a pit. Huh. Oh, hey, dummy. It's a faster way to do that. You don't have to do all this jumping nonsense. You can just run. <laughs> Late, Adam. So weird. What an intensely strange experience. So you run left, and you run up, or else it'll close on you. And you fall down to the right to keep going. Wow. Yeah, this is a pretty clever puzzle game. Because it's all about just building a light trail. Is that going to close again or no? No, okay. It was, it just gave me longer than I'm used to. That was weird. So bear with me. Sprint to the right. Run downstairs. One, two, three, four. Come on, you can do this. That was closer than I would have liked. Oh, the birds are here to visit. Hey, guys. Getting some nice speed going there. I see. Okay. I got this. I got this. This is so weird. Damn it! Oh, I see. I see what I'm supposed to do. That wasn't it. Right, bear with me. No, that wasn't right either. Oh, okay. I know, I know, I know. Forget it, forget it. This has been embarrassing. Yeah! What am I supposed to do now? Oh, wow. Okay, this one's really bad. Damn, that was rough. Nice to have a couple of easy ones right after. Okay, what does this do? Oh, I get it. And I screwed it up. I, I was doing the right thing. I just, you know... Not in the right order. I'm figuring it out. I would feel so much com more comfortable playing this with a controller. Also, the white noise is starting to weird me out. Grrr. Arg. I see. What? No! <laughs> I was so close! 
I gotta pay closer attention. Alright, let's jump down there. Oh, Chrome sucks? I'm sad to hear that. Well, cell phones are almost as good as PCs. That's not true, but it's a comforting, comforting thing to say from time to time. So, hey, we beat level two, everybody. Or level one, two, anyway. I don't know if this counts as the second world. Wouldn't it be great if we, like, never used the sword again in the game? And it was just there to mislead you about what type of game this was right at the start? I don't get it. Okay, that was pretty cool. Wow. That is the kind of game mechanic I was not expecting, but I'm not saying no to. Yeah, this is pretty messed up. one of these inter games where it's like I just had no idea what to expect and then it turned out to be slightly delightful using classic video game rules for wraparound worlds oh oh I see hi weirdest puzzle game Brand new. Uh oh. That was obviously wrong. Oh, I see. Well, that's just weird. See, it's 2D, but it's also 3D. With simultaneity. Which, in case you didn't know, is the quality of state, or, uh, quality or state of being simultaneous. Alright, I mistimed that pretty badly. Oh, I can just jump over here. And I mistimed it again. I, I promise I'll time it right this time, but it has been a bit of a chore. I did not time it right that time. Oh, I thought there was a cliff there. I'm a dum-dum. There's a wall there where I thought there was a cliff. Here we go. Okay, that took too long. But I managed it eventually. And What could be more important than that? No, it's a wall, right. Okay, so I'm supposed to jump straight down onto this thing, then drop onto that square that moves, then do something. Oh, I get it, okay. Again, one of the weirdest puzzle games there is. Run and jump. Really thought I had that nailed. Okay, we got it. This is so cool. It's not as uh, moody. I mean, it's the same genre as that uh, game I loved so much where you're like a, a moon man looking for butterflies that are also energy packets. You know, that thing, that instantly relatable game that everyone recognizes. My description of which... Okay. I now see the problem.
Did I time this right? I think I did. We're going to find out together. Nope, not even close. So is this, it's going to do the exact same thing, right? I think I see what I'm supposed to do. Careful, careful, careful. One, two, three. If I keep them directly next to each other, there should be no trouble. Uh, you can't really walk off the ledge. You kind of, uh... Although I haven't tried walking off the ledge instead of running. Yeah, you can just walk to fall off the ledge instead of running and jumping. I forgot that was an element in the game. Not particularly proud of myself, but here we are. That was pretty awesome. Alright, check this out. Thanks for reminding me about the walk button, Hans. Who knew it was going to be so vital to success in the game? Although they did teach me about it before they taught me about the sword button, so I guess that should have been a hint. I'm No, I'm glad we're getting past those parts. Such a weird experience. We did it! And that's World 3 wrapped up. Okay. I feel pretty badass about my spatial relations puzzle solving skills and Hans's ability to remind me that I'm capable of walking instead of just running. So let's find out what the fourth and final area is. I don't know if it's actually the final area or, or what. But I'm exactly excited to find out where it takes me. More just weird run around the screen nonsense. My favorite kind of nonsense. I see. L? Oh, L also means push. Oh, so in this first world, are they just teaching me uh, mechanics? that we're going to employ in the rest of the worlds? It's possible that this entire first world is just about mechanical instruction, which I would be fine with. That was a little closer than I would have liked. It might be the game hurting your head. Tog. I can see that. Oh, can I jump down from that ledge? Nice. Sadly, my PR contact at uh, Artifacts Monday has left the uh, company. Tragic. When I met the new key PR contact, so it's fine, but... You know, always nice to talk to Lucas about the new game. Whatever it was. Oh, wait, that's not going to work. Oh, I get it. Nice. They're teaching me about tiered platforms. And how tiered platforms can go over walls. That's cool. So you go up. Drop onto the tiered platform. Which you can't do from below. Huh. That was weird. So tiered platforms follow new physical rules we haven't experienced yet in the game. Oh, I've got an idea. Come on, L button.
Yeah, that's the new physics thing I was talking about, how you have to drop onto the tiered platforms unless they have stairs. I had to push it closer to the wall, I just realized. There we go. We got this. What? I don't know why I thought I had to jump down with it. And now I have to do the walk, not the jump. Oh wait, let me try something. So I just have to move it south a little. Alright, not a problem. Yeah, that should be good. No, no, I'm too... Wait, what? It's like if I do it one way, I'm falling on one side of it. If I do it the other way, I'm falling on the other side of it. Am I not allowed to land on top of it? Look at this. I push it against the wall, right? Watch this. I push it, pull it away from the wall. Maybe I do have to fall with it. I was right in the first place. That's strange, right? Uh, Lazy Rider is telling me it's strange with her mind. It's very strange. See? Now she's decided to say it with words. But earlier it was just the mind. Sorry. Totally fine. Enjoy your book. I'm so confused about why this is not working. Okay, this just isn't... Oh, wait. What? Like, I'm not crazy. This seemed... Yeah, the first time I fell onto it just fine, and then I screwed up somehow. What if I drag it down on top of me? Well, then it'll crush you, Hogaru. Did I actually fall onto it the first time and just ran off? Could you check that, Hans? Wait. No, that's not working. I swear this is the solution. Like, this is obviously the solution to this puzzle, right? I know, I've been holding L the whole time as I walk off the edge. I'm not running. It looks like I'm running and jumping, but I'm not. I'm holding L the whole time. This is very strange. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, there is another solution. Okay, give me a second then. Alright, so obviously I'm not supposed to make the brick fall. Can I walk through these breaks in the wall? I can't. Also, I'm worried I'm not going to be able to jump far enough. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing the correct answer here. Because the game is cheating to make sure I don't land on the block. No matter what I do. Oh, wait, hold on. I was gonna say, can I smash the block into that slightly broken piece of um, marble there to push it aside? I doubt this is the solution, but I'm running low on ideas? Have you any? No. No? No ideas? No ideas. Alright, she's got no ideas either. Alright, so we might be calling it here. Everything about this game and the rules the game has laid out, how the game works, blah blah blah, all of it... ...suggests... Wait, I did land on the block the first time I did it? Really? You're sure? Well, why is that not replicable? Is there a trick to landing on the block? Because this seems like this has to be the solution. Well, in any event, whatever I'm doing wrong that it's making me not land on the block, the game's not communicating what I'm doing wrong, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to stop playing, but I will say this, until this moment, Moon River has been an intriguing and fascinating, mind-bending puzzle game that I've genuinely enjoyed all the levels of up until now. It's had some, you know, puzzlers and some brain teasers, but I've never felt like I was being cheated. And uh, I've genuinely liked noodling through the solutions. This one seems kind of frustrating. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I can't get onto the top of the block. Like, there's no way to get on top of the block if it's in the middle. Oh, that was weird. It resets back into place. Alright, well, as I was saying, uh, very intriguing game. I'm going to reach out to the developer again to see if this is another bug or if I'm doing something wrong. I would assume, like, if I hadn't already had a major game-breaking bug in this, I would assume I was doing something wrong, but there's a slight chance the answer is here I'm not a dumb guy, but it's just a slight chance. Anywho, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. This has been Moon River. Like I said, a stylish platformer. Uh, you cannot jump off behind the tiered platform. Oh, yeah, no, no, but that doesn't, uh, that doesn't accomplish anything. Oh, I see. All right, Hans had an idea for how we're supposed to solve this. And he's probably right. All right, so Hans has figured this one out. Bravo, Hans. You've done it again. Okay. Nope. That was a really good idea, though. Like, that was an amazing idea. I tip my hat to that idea. Even though it didn't work, bravo. I'm going to try moving the box a little further south. Oh, jump up from the box. Okay. To get to the tiered platform. 
But if I move it a bunch north, that probably will work. Alright, we got this. Nope. This is so frustrating. When you feel like you've got a solution? Nope. Because if I move it any further north, I'll miss it. When I'm jumping down. I think. Oh my god, that was way too finicky. Oh my god, that was way too finicky. I'm so glad that's over. I was ready to quit you for good, game. But Hans convinced me to keep at it, and Hans was right to do that. Okay, so we gotta move you a little closer to here. Now we can get this done. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Perfection. And so this should work. Nope, not quite far enough. Nope. Seriously? Oguru? Oh, you can't pull it from around the screen. That's new information. Okay, here we go. So you get it right up to the edge. Perfect. Should be perfect adjacent. So it's... Oh, whoops. Okay, well that's just silly game. Just let me watch, walk straight down wherever. Alright, here we go. Nope. Come on. I'm suddenly realizing this might not work. And that, in fact, I was supposed to do it from the other side. You're supposed to do it from the other side, dummy. I feel like my problem with that... Uh, with that previous level has gotten into my head, and now I'm making this eight times more compl complicated than it has to be. Obviously, they were both supposed to be on the same side. Obviously, I wasn't supposed to jump around the screen, but... After that last level, I'm, I'm all in my head, is, uh, as the kids say. What have you got for me now, game? What, tor what new torment have you invented? Same deal as last time? In fact, this might be a same deal as last time. Yeah, it was the same deal as last time. This feels shorter than the last couple. I'm not going to be mad about that. <laughs> Given the way it tormented me. Alright, we did it. We made it through the first world, the first four levels, whatever you want to call it. And now you just want us to go south again. Well, we're going to take a break. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. Are we getting our sword back? We're getting our sword back. All right, well, we will, we will at least get our sword back. Wait, what? So I'm supposed to hit you? You're damn right I am. Awesome. Well, that's just cool. Oh, so now I have to hit the things instead of... Nice. And each one takes you in a different direction. That's cool. Well, there'll be a lot more to this that we're going to learn later. Yeah, I'm so dumb that getting a sword made me forget that I can just... Oh, I could just cut through them. Oh, that's even dumber. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. If you... If you'd like to be here for the live stream of these games get played, check out the Discord channel. That's where I announce them. 
Can I? I feel like this is something where an arrow would help. Uh, strange. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots go in the comment section below the video. I already said that. If you'd like to be here for the live stream where these games get played, check out the Discord channel. That's where I announce them. I'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games. But until then, I'm just going to say au revoir.